from going bankrupt to ending up in jail. The stories of the dumbest lottery winners of all time will leave you in disbelief and make you question whether winning the lottery is actually a blessing or a curse. Welcome to our latest video where we delve into the world of lottery winners who, despite hitting the jackpot, managed to squander their fortunes in record time. But don't just take our word for it. We've got all the juicy details and shocking facts to back it up. If you're curious to know how these once lucky individuals managed to lose their fortunes so quickly and spectacularly, then this video is for you. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be astounded by the jaw-dropping stories of the dumbest lottery winners in history. Denise Rossi's experience after winning a $1.3 million jackpot in 1996 highlights the complexities that can arise from lottery winnings. Rather than disclosing her newfound wealth to her husband, Denise chose to keep it a secret. Just 11 days after purchasing the ticket, she filed for divorce, strategically positioning herself to retain the entire jackpot. For two years, she successfully concealed the money from her ex-husband until a letter arrived at his address, offering a lump sum buyout of Denise's winnings. This revelation was the first time Thomas, Denise's husband, learned off the win, prompting him to launch a lawsuit claiming half of the prize money. Shockingly, the court awarded Thomas the entire sum, leaving Denise with nothing but mounting legal fees. Evelyn Adams, often dubbed the luckiest woman in America, won the lottery twice. Her initial win amounted to a staggering $3.9 million in October 1985 followed by another $1.4 million just four months later. Despite the astronomical odds of 1 in 17.3 trillion, Evelyn's incredible fortune did not lead to lifelong happiness. Instead, she fell victim to a crippling gambling addiction, squandering her remaining wealth on slot machines in Atlantic City. Consequently, her business ventures failed, and by 2012, Evelyn found herself living in a modest trailer park, shattered by the realization that winning the lottery was far from the dream it was believed to be. Kelly Rogers' life serves as a cautionary tale for young lottery winners. At the tender age of 16, she struck gold, winning over 1.8 million pounds. Although she pledged to exercise restraint and seek professional advice, Kelly succumbed to the allure of extravagant spending. Boob jobs, luxury cars, designer clothes, lavish vacations, and gifts for former boyfriends depleted her fortune within a year. In the end, she was left with a mere 2,000 pounds dependent on welfare. Reflecting on her experience, Kelly recognizes that winning such a substantial amount of money at a young age was detrimental thrusting her into adulthood prematurely. She advocates for raising the UK's legal gambling age from 16 to 18, aiming to protect young individuals from similar perils. Jose Antonio Cuatoc, an individual who won a jackpot of $750,000 in 2010 while residing in the US as an illegal immigrant. Due to his legal status, Jose entrusted his boss to claim the prize on his behalf. Sadly, his boss falsely declared ownership of the winning ticket, leading to a legal battle. Despite possessing security camera footage providing his purchase, Jose was jailed for drunk driving and eventually deported back to Guatemala after winning the case. After deducting taxes and legal fees, he was left with a meager $250,000, a fraction of his initial winnings. Amanda Clayton's story takes a tragic turn following her million-dollar jackpot win in 2011. Controversy surrounded her when it was discovered that she continued to collect food stamps and benefits despite her lottery success. Amanda justified her actions believing she remained eligible for assistance as she remained unemployed. However, she faced charges of welfare fraud, ultimately repaying $5,500 worth of food stamps received. Tragically, Amanda passed away six months later from a drug overdose, burdened by the negative consequences of winning the lottery. 
her partner revealed that Amanda struggled with the overwhelming repercussions of sudden wealth and found that money could not bring her the happiness she sought. Despite using a portion of her winnings to support her family and children's education, Amanda's ultimately demise left her with a mere $67,000 from her one substantial fortune. In stark contrast to Amanda's tragic tale, Ryan McKee's story was a foreseeable disaster waiting to unfold. At the age of 27, Ryan won a staggering 6.4 million pounds in 2008. Securing a spot on the prestigious Sunday Times Top 100 Rich List for Young People. Fueled by his newfound wealth, he purchased an extravagant mansion in Ireland, complete with five bedrooms, an indoor swimming pool, a champagne bar, and a garage to house his luxurious Ferrari 458 Italia. However, his reckless actions soon caught up with him. Just three years after acquiring the Ferrari, Ryan skidded off the road and crashed into a field exacerbated by his choice to drive the sports car in snowy conditions. Locals were astounded by his decision, especially considering he owned a more suitable Range Rover. Unfortunately, the Ferrari lacked winter tires that would have significantly enhanced its grip and handling in icy conditions, an investment amounting to £4,400. As a series of misfortunes unfolded, Ryan's property development business dissolved, he faced a divorce and ultimately had to sell his opulent tow. Two years later, he found himself driving an uninsured Ford Focus without a license, resulting in the need for legal aid to navigate the consequences of his actions. Despite his poor financial decisions, Ryan's story still pales in comparison to the plight of Martin Todd, whose circumstances underscore the dire consequences that can befall lottery winners. Martin and his wife Kay won £3 million in 2001, but did not claim the prize as they were unaware of their win. They had bought the ticket in passing and forgotten about it, and only realized they were the winners after hearing about the unclaimed prize over six months later. Unfortunately, they had lost the ticket and despite searching for it, could not find it. Camelot, the lottery organizer, denied them the jackpot due to a little-known rule that lost tickets must be reported within 30 days. After 45 days of deliberation, Camelot informed the couple that they would not receive the prize, and their marriage eventually ended as a result. Martin stated that he and his wife had only been together for two years, and winning the lottery made them realize their differences leading to constant arguments and ultimately a split. Martin seemed to have convinced himself that losing the winning ticket was a good thing. In 1988, William Post won a jackpot of $16.2 million, but he had a history of poor money management skills, including spending time in jail for cashing invalid checks. Within just 84 days, he had spent all the money on a boat, a restaurant lease in Florida, a used car lot, and a private jet. He even took out a loan of $500,000 to buy a mansion in Pennsylvania. However, William had not bought the winning ticket himself. His girlfriend had bought it for him after he gave her the money. She sued him for a third of the winnings and as he was unable to pay, his bank account was frozen. Before he could sell enough assets to pay the debt, he was arrested. William, who was in a lot of debt and living off of food stamps while working a low-paying job, was sentenced to 6 to 24 months in prison for a 6-year-old assault charge. Despite his situation, he does not have the wildest lottery win story. That title goes to Andrew Jackson Whitaker Jr., who was already a millionaire before winning $315 million in the lottery. Although he had the means to manage the money, he donated a portion to charity and established a foundation to help low-income families. He also bought expensive gifts for himself like a Lamborghini, which was stolen twice along with a significant amount of cash. Whitaker faced several personal tragedies including the loss of his granddaughter and daughter as well as a divorce, which led him to feel like he had lost everything. Despite his wealth, he realized that money does not bring happiness and wished he had never won the lottery. 
And that concludes our countdown of the dumbest lottery winners of all time. From William Post's financial ruin to Jack Whittaker's heartbreaking losses. These stories remind us that winning the lottery is not always a fairy tale ending. So next time you buy a ticket, remember the cautionary tales we have shared today and make sure you have a plan in place for managing your newfound wealth. We hope you enjoyed learning about the incredible facts and stories we shared on our channel. If you're hungry for more amazing knowledge, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our latest videos. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and be amazed by the world around you.